Welcome one and all to the 2024 Central Pennsylvania Open Source Conference. My name is Joel Walker. I am the steward of CPOSC, but really Elise Ewing does that. I am just the figurehead at the head of local area networks and nonprofit I'll tell you about in a little bit. Central Pennsylvania Open Source Conference has been running for, oh, it's a trick question, but since 2008. Um, I run Industrial Resolution. It's a custom software development shop here in Lancaster. It's an elastic uh, technology partner as well. And it is my pleasure to welcome you today. Thank you for coming, one and all. Central PA Open Source Conference, affectionately dubbed CPOSC, is a small, low-cost, one-day conference all about, about all things open source. Coding, development, operating systems, project management, networking, systems administration, databases. Three tracks, including a total of 18 speakers, which is the exact amount of speakers we have for you lined up today. This is uh, what was advertised in 2008, and it really hasn't changed too much since then. We are very proud of our conference. It's been a community-led effort uh, since its inception, and I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of our history. Dole out some mad props and some recognition because the community has really uh, shepherded this along. Uh, so exercise is optional. Those that have been here before know this drill. If you remember the Harrisburg University years and were there in person as a volunteer or as an attendee or as a speaker, could you please stand up? All right, mad props. These are the people, oh, remain, remain standing if you would, if you would. Remain standing if you would. These are the people you probably want leading your software development teams and such right now. If you can tell me anything that happened between 2011 or 2013, could you stand up right now? <laughs> this is a plea for help. <laughs> yes, Tom, Jim, Avery. So I have... Uh, been this, uh, in this role since 2016, I shadowed in 2015, and all I have are assets from 2008 until 2010, and there is no documented record of what the hell happened in these years. <laughs> so if you could backfill that gap in my records, I would be so indebted to you. If you joined and remember the IU phase when CPOSC moved to Lancaster for the first time and was in the IU 13, could you stand and rise? Give them a round of applause. It's awesome that we're still talking about so many of the same things today. DevOps and uh, Jeff Avery still giving our lightning talks. In 2016 is when uh, this is the first time a little bit of a shift took over. Industrial Resolution is the first company that ever ran CPOSC. Uh, we never really wanted to make money from it, and in fact, we didn't. Um, but uh, and we were excited to lend uh, an organized team to the, uh, to the equation. So if you joined in these years, 2016 to 2018, uh, you stand to be recognized and as part of our community. Awesome. Those are exciting times. We introduced the Friend of CPOSC ticket, where you could pay extra for people that couldn't afford to get a ticket on their own, maybe. We also opened up free admission to students uh, in college or high school, and have been proud of that ever since. Um, we brought it to the Ware Center and brought it to downtown, and that was, that was a pretty great time. But as we were coming up on our 10-year anniversary and, and then our 11th year anniversary, uh, we knew we had to take it to 11. We knew we had to, this is going to date uh, me and some other people, this reference here, but we had to take it to 11. And that year we did break all the records CPOSC had ever held before, and it was a very exciting year. And it was the banner moment, I think, was when we did announce that we've been running this as a nonprofit, and it should be one. And in 2019, we turned over ownership of CPOSC uh, for the heralded amount of $1, which has been the price of owning this thing uh, ever since, as it's passed on from steward group to steward group. 
and uh, Steve Posk was given to a nonprofit organization for the first time. And that happened because we wanted to uh, see this thing grow. And we had all these like weird qualms about something growing really big as a privately held thing. And so uh, we were very excited for the momentum and, and all of that. But um, what happened at that moment, does anyone remember a certain headline, coronavirus, back when we called it coronavirus. Uh, we took our conference uh, to, a, to a new level, uh, and it was an online one. And after our biggest year uh, of attendance in history, nearly 300 people, we were down uh, to about 150 online. And uh, that, was a real, that was a real showstopper. So if you remember that year, who, was, uh, in, who sat in their office at home and watched CPOSC that year? All right, thank you so much for that. I was talking too long, so everyone already sat down. I do that. But if you joined in 2021 or 22, if you were an attendee during those years, would you stand up? This is actually a trick. Don't stand up. We did not have CFOSC in those years. So after the, the decline in the virtual and some feedback from the co uh, community, we made the very hard decision for the first time ever to not be an annual conference anymore, which is why we are a mostly annual conference. So that was really hard, and deciding whether or not to bring it back in 2022 was even harder. Um, that was a time when the world was desperately trying to awake and come back together, but we decided one more year we weren't going to do it. Sorry. That's pretty good. Can you turn it up? <laughs> so, uh, Last year was a very exciting event. Who was here for the first time last year? That's awesome. That's like, can you actually, can you, can you do the stand thing? Because the hands were like, that's like, are we looking at half? <laughs> All right, so here's the party trick. Y'all sit down while the new people stand up. Is this, is this your first time at CPOSC? Woo! <laughs> Hang on. You gotta stay standing now. We gotta, you know, we gotta capture this for posterity. You know, I always make wild speculation about what percentage of our attendees are here for the first time, and this will help validate. Thank you, thank you. As uh, tradition dictates, first years, you will find that lunch is served on the third floor next to the swimming pool, and the cocktail party is there also. So you can, I hope you brought your swim trunks, your towel. It's a poolside bar. That is a joke. <laughs> what you first years do need to do, actually, the first year information is on that QR code. So if you could scan that really quick, that would be awesome. <laughs> Never going to hurt you. <laughs> so my mad props and words of thanks to acknowledge the community are done. Now it is time for mad props and words of thanks for those who, uh, who make this happen, not just with their legs, but with their money. So Central PA Open Source Conference 2024, our 14th CPOSC. We have a premium sponsor, and it is Lancaster's biggest tech success, the Webstrat Store. Give them a huge round of applause, please. For those who don't know the story, uh, we've all kind of grown up alongside the Webstrom store and known them in this community for a long, long time. And what they've done is absolutely incredible. They're the largest and best organization at what they do in the world. And that's started right here in this, in this town, and that's really something we're proud of. Uh, we have a lot of other people to thank as well, and they're all right here. So give the rest of our sponsors a large, large thank you. We could not do this year after year without their support. Every year we ask for more. The way that happens, by the way, is that we need introductions to the people at the companies that do these things. 
And so it's people like you introducing our volunteers and our staff to the people that make those decisions at the organizations that you're in. So if, uh, if you're wondering, oh, how can I help this organization next year? Oftentimes, it's just an introduction and an email and uh, one and done. So we'd love that and appreciate it. We've got a very hard working sponsorship team that uh, works their butt off to try and figure out who to reach out to. And if you have that info, we desperately love to receive it. Back by popular demand this year, raffles. We used to give things away a lot at CFOSC. We kind of stopped. We weren't sure if that was still fun or not. Um, but this year, we've got two sponsors that are raffling off uh, events. So at the, in the closing remarks, you must be present to win. Uh, there is some cool prizes from JFC Global and Make 717. We'd also like to thank our host, Millersville University. We've been here since 2019. Give them a big round of applause. So. I'd like to amend that. That was uh, uh, 2016. That's when that came. Sorry. All right. Enough with that. On to the day. This is the stuff that you'll need to know to make today a success for you. Change of topic. Wet the whistle. First off, we have 18 killer talks for you today. Thank you, speakers, for giving them. We know it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and doing this on a Saturday is just basically putting a lot out there for this community, and we thank you. These talks are always amazing. I always tell, when I tell people not from here about CPOSC, I always say it's kind of like the county fair of, of tech conferences. It's like, it's like the blue ribbon bake off. These are the things that people are so proud of that they are working on so hard, the things that they've learned and they are standing up and sharing it. And it is always diamonds in the rough that peop other people just don't even know it's, it's here and being shared about. So it's, you never know what you're going to learn. You never know what you're going to discover. And it's such a thrill to be a part of. So I want to thank our speakers for being here today. Give them a big, quick round of applause. All right. Now we're talking about how to get around. So you are in the big circle thing. You go out those doors. This place is a, mat, a, a bit of a mess. You follow that little dotted line. You go up this, like, there's so many stairs. You feel like you're going upstairs forever. You go up to the right. That's your next to destination. So if you go back a slide, we've got Steinman Hall. That's here. Bin's room is the next one. And then the library is all the way if you complete the loop. So follow that dotted line to number three. That is your library. It is pretty much this horseshoe shape. If you are in a hallway somewhere that seems like a weird small hallway and you don't see people around, you're probably lost looking for lunch. Um, lightning talks. Jeff, would you give me a little gong bang? If you don't know what a lightning talk is, boy, you're in for a treat. And Jeff will give you a very, very quick <laughs> So we have lightning talks at the end of the day. It's a half hour session in here. You get about five minutes. Four minutes into your talk, you will hear. At five minutes in, you get the gong. You can talk on any topic that's at least remotely connected to open source, but we're flexible. At least two of you have already submitted one, and I have accepted. If you haven't submitted your talk yet, just find me during the day, and we'll get it all arranged. If you're going to give a lightning talk after we get it all set up, just sit in the front of the room and so we can work on it, getting you up here quickly. Uh, do, if you are, you're going to use a laptop. Come up sometime during the day to hear, plug in, and make sure that thing's going to work for you. It's much better than finding out at the last moment. Yes, right during the uh, <laughs> sweeps and sinks before that, lightning talks. That would be the best time. Would be a good one. We, we also have lightning advertisements. For those of you who just have something to announce, like we have a local users group, or I have a project and I could use some help. You don't have to have slides or anything, and what you'll do is sit in the front row, and while the speakers are switching out their laptops and there's a little bit of wasted space, you come up here and say what you got to say, and then get out of the way, and someone else, and we have room for lots of advertisements, so if you got something, we can do it, and I think that we'll handle most everything until later, so if you have a talk to give, 
come find me. And the two of you who I already accepted, come find me anyway so that I know you're here. Yep. Jeff has been doing this since uh, forever, I think. Give him a huge round of applause. Thank you. Uh, so how you can sign up the, is the to first, stand. The first lightning talks at this conference was in 2012, which was still in Harrisburg. And the gong had gone on a world tour without me, so I had to use a vuvuzela. But <laughs> the gong and I have been back ever since. Thank you, Jeff. There is a QR code to submit your talks. Uh, scan it on the back of your badge if you're so inspired. I once gave a talk on how to tie a better shoelace knot, and it was, it was a killer. I mean, people loved it. Getting help. If for any reason you don't know what's going on, or you do need help, or you don't feel safe, or any, for any reason whatsoever, there are people wearing these charcoal gray t-shirts. They say operations across the back. Find them, and if you can't find them, you can email cposk at localarenetworks.org, um, or just you know maybe like tag us on Twitter or social media with like you know help and tag us or something. Um, but that's important to know. There's always people at the booth right outside this room, at the, the table where you registered. The after party is hosted in our office at Industrial Resolution, my company. It is two blocks away in the back of TELUS 360. There you sort of, we will meet in the atrium at 545. I'll hold up a huge banner and we'll walk as a parade group, you know, two blocks up to the after party. There will be 320 slices of pizza, an open bar, and DJ Chocolate Lasagna. Who is a member of our tech uh, community? Comes to Tech Lancaster and likes to do some Twitch DJing. And I said, "Geez, do you want to just DJ for us? That would be awesome." He graciously volunteered, so that is exciting and something new. It is fun. It'll probably go till like midnight. You can stay as long as you like. It's just a good time. So that's that. All right. So now, photo booth. That's new. These two. These are all going to be out in the hallway. We'd love for you to, you know, take some selfies. This is the next generation conference. So we hit that. And finally, nom noms we got. Cilantro, back by incredibly popular demand for lunch. And Merrymaker provides catering or snacks and sweets all day, as, lo as well as the coffee, two vitally important things. And then finally, uh, lunch. Lunch is the thing that's hard to find. You got to go into this huge elevator that fits about 20 people at a time or walk up three flights of stairs. You'll know you found it when you walk into this big old room that's like the ceiling is made of glass. I'm not lying. Uh, it's pretty excellent. And you can also just follow your nose. Um, we will be uh, able to dole out extra t-shirts, or, or if you didn't, weren't able to sign up for one or whatever, you can sort all that out after lunch. Um, at the registration table, recordings in the auditorium, bins room and library will also be available after the conference. We're not streaming live today, sadly. And finally, we want to invite you to join your peers and community. If you're new, this is your first time. We run an incredibly fun and active uh, Slack community right here. You can, if you are an admin of Slack, just raise your hand. There's tons of people throughout this room. You can find anyone, ask anyone, and you will, you will be like you know, two degrees away from somebody that can get you in this very active and, and rewarding Slack channel. Uh, TechLancaster.com is another great way to, uh, to, to uh, break into that, that, that uh, community as well. So there's a monthly newsletter and uh, access to the Slack, I believe, is provided there as well. So we've got a whole series of meetups that meet monthly in this tech community, and we invite you to join us at any one of them. Local Area Networks, uh, as I have already sort of shared, but owns this conference, supports meetups, supports the tech initiatives in town. So if you'd like to help get started with education or empowering people in, in, in this field, you we are always looking for board members and volunteers. So um, that's what we're looking to do these days. We have 18 amazing talks. Who's ready to get on with it? Woo! We're so thrilled that you're here. Thank you so much for coming. It's going to be a killer day. Enjoy it. <laughs>